Hi, it is Romola and welcome to this space where we are going to be talking about things that are going to support you as an empath this week. So it is Monday the 2nd of September. Um, I'm recording this on Sunday and I'm using the Sign of the Times deck. So I have just recorded a um, monthly, a September one, looking at the moons and other things, um, which I will pop a link to below. You want to have a look at some more in depth about how you can support yourself this month. So let's have a look at this week and see how we can support our energies as an empath. Right, we have two cards that have come up. So we have this one, which is Skull and Endings. And we have this one, which is Thee and Community. I love these. So these cards, let's start here. So endings we are moving out of the summer we are moving into autumn we also have the new moon on tuesday so this is a great time this is when um to sort of plant those seeds of things that you desire so look at looking at sort of the end of the this weekend and monday as the endings and thinking about what is it that i want to bring forth into my world what do i want to I use the word manifest, but it's not just manifest, it's how do I want to be, what do I want to do, what do I want to have, what do I want to experience, how do I want to feel, um, and also the energies of what don't I want in any of those levels, and that is where the endings is coming in, so the, just the shift of season is here, and the shift into the school year as well is always a, um, a big step, it's like a new year um, energy, so just think, what do I want to let go of? What don't I want anymore? Um, what do I want to bring? So always think about that positive. But these things, they are, it's like the yin yang. You've, you've always got the, 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 the new and the old. You've always got the, what do I want? What do I don't want? And understanding that is really key and that will support you. And we can use this also on the new energy, new moon energy. I always like to, to do a little bit of a release and clearing of things that have come up that I'm thinking, you know, I need to get rid of that in order to bring in the new. Because when we declutter the old, and that could be old desires, it could be old stuff within our house, it could be old emotions and old repeating patterns that we don't want <clears throat> to take forward. When we use, we can use the new moon energy to clear those and get rid of them, to shift them, because that is creating space on an energetic, physical time space level that we can then bring in the new so it's really important what do you want to get rid of in order to create the space to move forward and the second card we had was this one it's these and community who do you want around you to support you who will be around you and support you who is not a drain who is not going to negatively impact your energy because those are the people that you really want around you that you can lean into that you can support i mean bees yes you have the queen bee who is there facilitating the life cycle of the bees but actually there are worker bees in there there are bees drone bees there are bees that go out and get the honey there are or the the pollen rather and make the, the everyone's got their own role within that community of bees and that is what is so important you know who is in your community what roles are they playing what roles are you playing within there because there may be some communities that you're in and i'm thinking of like a pta is the first thing that comes up is um you know that's a community that i was in actually it was very draining for me um there may be other things Actually, it's, we're, we're talking a decade ago and most of the, that was a thing for me. Um, but, you know, there are things in communities that you'll be part of. That could be on social media groups that you're getting alerts for. It could be on your email list. There could be physical ones within real life. You know, what communities are not serving you? Again, taking this card of this endings that are not serving you so you can clear them out, so you can move forward. Um, and also, I would invite you to look financially at things you are committed to that perhaps no longer serve where it is that you're wanting to go and, and move on to. Um, because we often have subscriptions for things that we signed up to when, you know, when we were <coughs> quite literally a different person. So look at your communities, about where you're spending your time, your energy, your commitment, your space, and make sure that you are supported with the community that you have around you. And let's have another card. 
Lotus Flower and Enlightenment. So I love this one. We've got the envelopes with the stamps on. And if you think about an envelope, well, you have to have an address on there. You have to put the right postage on there. You have to have a message within the envelope that you are sending. There is usually a reason why you are sending a letter, an envelope, whether it's to pay a bill, although we don't tend to use checks anymore, but whether it is to sign up to something, whether it is to send somebody birthday greetings or anniversary greetings or new birth greetings or new home greetings. There is a reason for this. So this card, again, it follows on. Where are you spending your time? Where do you need to cultivate your message is what's coming through. What and who do you need to send that to? Now, we can have one to one conversations with people in real life. That is fine. But also some people, we might not be able to do that. They might have passed over. We might not have a relationship with them. We might not want to actually physically say the things to them face to face because we know the impact, the the backlash that would come from it. And we can use our guardian angels, our spirit team to support us with this. So we can have our conversation with our guardian angels, with our spirit team and say, look, this is the message that I really want to pass on to that person. And what we're doing is we're having a conversation with our guide, if you like, and, their, and that guide is going to go to their guide and the message will filter through that. It will filter through this energy of support and love and it clears our energy. It releases us from these things. It gets the words out of here. And it's interesting that my throat went just before saying all about this. It's about we can clear our throat, clear, get it off our chest, quite literally, and get it out there, get the message out. We can address it. We can use our spirit team for the stamp of the energy exchange to get the message where it needs to go. And so that I feel is a really thing. It's just, you know, just be aware of what, what messages you need to send to the send out and how are you going to do those. And then I think we'll just pull one. Actually, I'm going to pull one from this deck just to end. So this is the Angel Guide Oracle by Carl Gray. So we'll give it a quick shuffle and just see what energies, what, what angel energy is coming through. We'll have this one. And we have this one of Trust the Universe. So we have a beautiful one here. We've got a big swirl of energy that's expanding and growing. And that feels really important today, just to have that energy of expansion, of stepping into the new. Like I said, we have got the new moon on Tuesday, stepping into that new energy and trusting the universe, whether it's to send that message to somebody, whether it's to clear the energies, whether it's to trust the universe to help support us with our creation of the, the world that we are desiring and then taking the steps i'm just going to uh, just see i don't know whether he has actually got angels tapped into this no they are just angelic messages rather than uh, actual angels but that is a, a really useful message trust the universe take the steps that come through that are that feel aligned to you that you're being called to look at to move with um because they will be the ones that support you moving forward um so we always need to meet any manifesting through our own action and that might be decluttering getting clear on what it is we're desiring taking those micro steps towards what it is that we are looking to be do or have or experience in our lives so that is the messages for this week of the 2nd of september lots about clearing out the old being clear on what where our energy is going what our messages are and trusting that the universe has always got our back really powerful cards and i wish you a beautiful week if you want to work with me on some new moon energy some new moon clearing and the focusing then drop me a message um because i will be putting out a little offer around the new moon um to support people as well moving through this and like i've said in my longer video there is also a full moon offer that is available every every month um for every full moon or in between depending if that's what you desire um i wish you all a beautiful week and speak soon